Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name is Keith. I think, I think there's people watching me. I'm pretty sure of it. The other day, driving down the road, there was a guy, and I live right on a pond. There was a car that drove by, and this time of year, um, people you know stop and they'll take pictures of you know my pond and the and the the leaves changing colors. But this guy was like, I think he was like staring me down. I think he thinks I'm a Russian asset. I'm not sure. Maybe he was a Russian asset. I just don't know anymore. And then and then I was in the store and I was walking down. I was just trying to get milk. <clears throat> and all these people were like they would like look at me and smile. I'm like did they know something? What do they know? What are these people thinking? <clears throat> Am I the Russian asset? Do they know something? Do they think I'm a Russian asset? Or are they smiling because they're the Russian asset <clears throat> and they're there to monitor me? I don't know what's going on. I mean, I went fishing the other day with my brother and my father and my son. And it's funny because when we were pulling in back to the dock, there's all these people there and they were just like, hey, how's it going? What are you doing? And, and I don't even know them. I, I don't know them at all. Like, why are they talking to me? I think, I think they're the Russian assets. I think that's what's going on. Everybody, I think, is a Russian asset. I, I, call me paranoid, but I think that's what's going on. How, how ridiculous did that just sound? Honestly, how ridiculous did that sound? That is what Hillary Clinton sounds like to me. She's calling Tulsi Gabbard... A Russian asset. Like I said the other day, she's calling out Tulsa Gabbard a Russian asset because the Russians love her. She's going to run on a third-party platform because the Russians want her to. And that's how the Russians sway our elections. They create these assets. <clears throat> and I'm not, even, I'm not even sure that Tulsa Gabbard knows that she was a Russian asset. And, she even, and Hillary Clinton even called Jill Stein a Russian asset. Seriously? Jill Stein's a Russian asset. She was just thrown in the mix to throw off the numbers so people would vote for Jill Stein and not Hillary Clinton. Well, I got news for you, Hillary, and this might be a this might be part of what your your deal is, but I think if Tulsi Gabbard gets in and decides to run as a third party, she will actually help the Democrats and not the Republicans. Because in my opinion, I think that Tulsi Gabbard is more of a, a moderate Democrat, um, as moderate as you can be these days. And I think that the people who, the independents and the Democrats who voted for um, President Trump will put their votes to Tulsi Gabbard because they more align to her way of thinking than President Trump. They, you know, they, they kind of were like, mm, holding my nose, I'm going to vote for President Trump because I can't vote for Hillary Clinton. But then they see, you know, President Trump out there and his tweets and his, his brash um, attitude, which I like. Not a, not a lot of people, you know, appreciate that. But, you know, especially the moderates who were kind of like, I just voted for him because he was a lesser of two evils. Well, if Tulsi Gabbard decides to run as a third party, it's my opinion that she will hurt the Republican vote because she will be taking those voters who did vote for President Trump, who were moderate Democrats, who were you know, more left-leaning independents than right-leaning independents. He'll, she will take those votes away um, from Trump and, it, in, in effect, make whoever the Democrat nominee is president of the United States, which is a scary freaking thought. And I, oh, oh my gosh, sorry. And I think that the way it's looking right now, that it looks like Elizabeth Warren's going to be that nominee because Joe Biden's tanking. There's no way Bernie Sanders is going to get in. Um, and I don't see anybody else on that stage, Kamala Harris, uh, Booker, nobody else is going to have have the votes to become the nominee. So I think that if 
Tulsi Gabbard decides to run as a third party, please don't run as a third party, then she will take those votes away and, in effect, give them to Elizabeth Warren, which would be a very scary situation for the United States. Um, think about that. So, j j it makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to you guys. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Um, I just think it's crazy that Hillary Clinton has gone off the deep end completely now and is calling pretty much everybody a Russian asset because she didn't win the election. So anybody that um, she doesn't like or anybody that doesn't like her opinions is working for the Russians. So anyway, I, she, it just cracks me up. She's gone. She's gone nuts, man. She's gone off the reservation, as I like to say. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're still subscribed because there's still some funny stuff going on because... I'll have subscriber counts jumping around like crazy, which is kind of weird. So if you were subscribed, make sure you still are subscribed. Hit that bell icon for notifications when I put a new video out. Check out that Teespring link if you want to get a conservative Patriot sweatshirt or mug or t-shirt, whatever you whatever is on there right now. They're pretty good looking. Um, and also check out that pay pink, PayPal link below if you want to donate to the conservative Patriot. Buy me a cup of coffee. Buy me some lunch. Here's my coffee now in my in my non-russian asset mug um but always remember stay on the right side and have a great day